Having two screens open at the same time makes a big difference in terms of um, how efficient you are on the computer. Um, I like to have two screens open so I can kind of look and kind of gauge, go back and forth if I need to, or even just play with my music on one side and do my assignment on the other side. Um, for you as students, having Canvas open and maybe your Google Docs at the same time, that may help. You know, but two screens is definitely a way to go if you want to be a little more efficient with your activities and your assignments and your Google searches and your research and your, and your internet use in general. Okay, um, the technology tip of the day is to have two screens open at the same time. And if you're like me, you probably have multiple screens or tabs open at the top of your computer screen. If you just click one and drag it, it will make a small box for you. And you can also just minimize it, pick another one, grab the box over here, minimize that one. So now you have two screens open to work with. This comes in handy quite a bit when you're copying from one screen to the other or reading an assignment and trying to do your own assignment. But um, that's the technology tip of the day to create two screens onto one screen. Now, what if you can do three? You guys try doing three. Let me know if it works or not. All right. See you later. The microphone button or icon on the Google search is very helpful if you have a hard time spelling things or if you just don't feel like typing. It's a little quicker. You click it, it gives you the answer, you can keep on moving. Um, don't get lazy and rely on that microphone all the time because your typing skills are important and your spelling skills are important. But it is nice and convenient to have that microphone um, ready to use when you want to. So the second technology tip of the day, or I guess, or week, is gonna be using the microphone on Google. This will save you from typing. Um, it might make things a little quicker and faster for you, but click the microphone. Hey Google, what is 15 times three? And there's your answer as well as a nifty calculator. So use the microphone to help you find information about things you would, uh-oh, look at that, animation about things you would. According to Wikipedia, animation is a method in which figures are manipulated to appear as moving images. That's pretty interesting. So once again, use the microphone to help you find bits and pieces of information you're interested in doing. All right, see you later. Okay, here is the microphone icon. If you have questions about anything, I would say just Google it. And it may help if you guys put down four kids in your search. All right, have fun.